a momentary ounce of panic there when I forgot what my keystroke was to actually switch scenes and go live because it's been like three weeks since we've done this. Welcome to the Ultra Live Show. I am Andy. Oh, hold on. Maeve is muted. Try it again, Maeve. Maeve. I'm Maeve. Can you hear me, guys? No, no, you're good. You're good. See, what I said, it was a momentary thing of panic. When I know, I, it's been a while. I forgot that the keystroke I had to hit also, I had to hit the unmute keystroke as well. So sorry about that, Maeve. It, it didn't well, we haven't done it since last year, so. You, you, you that, that dad joke. Hold on, I got to find the thing. Uh, so we, we were talking about this yesterday in our, uh, in our little pre-production meeting. And we were, we were talking about like, so what do, you, what do you think we should talk about? And Maeve brought up New Year's resolutions uh and like the worst new year's resolutions but also she said like i've been one of my favorite jokes in the world is the i haven't seen you since last year joke and i yeah, just i don't know why i just love it i no, it's because it's awesome uh so here let me let me pull this up you can see right there dad's waiting for january 1st oh <laughs> one so they can say i haven't seen you since last year somebody posted this on my facebook timeline three or four years ago and every January 1st, it pops up in my either time hop or my Facebook memories. And I laugh all over again. So Miranda, I thank you. It. Thank you for posting this because she thought it was something that I, <laughs> I would be doing. Uh, and I definitely would do this like with my kids, just like wake them up in the, at 1201 and just say, Hey guys, if they're, if they were asleep, which by the way, are you, are you like a stay awake until midnight person or what do you do for yeah. New Year's? No. Yeah. We, oh, it's so funny because, like, I probably say it to midnight, like, every single day. And then, of course, on New Year's Eve, it's, like, such a struggle. Um, but I feel like that's just how it always is. Um, but, yeah, we always try to stay up. Um, we try to do something fun. I feel like there's so much pressure mm. to have, like, a really, really fun New Year's Eve. And so sometimes, like, it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. But um, this year, we, it was kind of a spur moment thing. We kind of were just like, we're going to see how we feel and just do whatever. And so it started a really, really chill night. Like I was on the couch, like watching TV, but then some family came over and they were like, where's the party? And they, brought, <laughs> they were like, what are you guys doing? And they brought like these little like strobe light dance party light things. And so we just like spur of the moment ended up like pushing all the couches to the side, um, wow. you know, move the coffee table, put up the little like <laughs> strobe lights, and just started having a dance party. And it was it was really fun. Like some people were just like you know dancing in their pajamas, but then other people like myself was like, I need a dance party outfit. And so like I <laughs> ran stairs, did a wardrobe change, and so we were just like, come as you are and dance to some. <laughs> I've, dance this fun music it I've was got, good it was i've got some of you guys dressed up in bell bottoms and some of you guys dressed up in like 1920s like <laughs> flapper you know slash uh, yeah, uh, great gatsby I was, outfits i was in bell bottoms and then my my aunt she like started out really nice but then she was dancing up the storm so she ended up like in athletic shorts and like a tank top by the i end love of it the what was the what was like the hot the hot song that evening oh gosh there were so many because we ended up getting like an, a speaker and then microphone <laughs> so ended up doing like it's not even real karaoke because it's like they're singing over the song sure. so you know take that what you will but i there's my mom my aunt always sing like a dixie chick song like that's whenever we have um like a karaoke it's not real karaoke but whenever we do like a brooks style karaoke they always sing there's your trouble by the dixie chicks okay that's a good song and that's like a classic so whenever that starts we know the party's really getting started of because course. it's like the sister duet um but then there were some really fun i'm trying to think there was some like mariah carey there was some like some christmas music it was just a really good time i really can't pick a favorite that's fair enough. Uh, resolutions. Talk to me br br briefly. What is your, yeah. I guess your, your, first of all, your thoughts on resolutions and second of all, like the worst one you've ever made. Oh gosh. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm so lame. I'm always like, I don't want to make, make a goal for myself. I, you know what? I don't need improvement, but, <laughs> but I think, you know, um, I you're the, think you're the most humble person I've ever met, Maeve. I don't need improvement. I'm perfect the way I am. 
<laughs> I like myself. No, um, I think that resolutions are good, but if you like, if you kind of go over the top and you make these, you know, really big promises, I always like to like attainable goals. Like I, I love to read. And so I'm an avid reader and I am on Goodreads, which is like a really fun uh -huh. website where you can pack your books. And so every year they have like a book challenge. And so the past, the first two years I did it, I like couldn't make it. But this past year, I like, I, my goal was to read 15 books and I read 16 Ooh. books, which is like, huge for me because yeah. I'll go through seasons, through seasons where I'm like do not even like I don't want to even look at a book and then there are other seasons where I'm just like reading constantly and so this year I'm like all right let's bring it up a notch I want to try to read 20 books this year look at you we'll look see you. we'll see you're a regular yeah you're a regular uh Robert Frost over there I, I dig it. <laughs> yes yes but what what do you think about resolutions I love hate I hate, uh, just simply hate. because, yeah, hate because I do the same thing that everybody does, like, oh, yeah, it's a new year, and then I stop yeah. and think, like, every day I should be improving just a little bit anyway, mm -hmm. so why do I need a whole thing, and then and then I overthink it, and then I write lists and lists and lists, and then I never mm -hmm. follow them, and so I kind of have a love, a, a love and hate relationship at the same time. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I did make a resolution this year that um, I was going to read more as well, uh, just because mm -hmm. that's that's always a good one because leaders are readers. Uh, I currently am reading, I'm always reading like three books at a time. And so well, I'm reading three books right now. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. tell if that's good or if that's just, that's our age group <laughs> or what. <laughs> If you can compartmentalize it, it's like okay. But if there are too, if there's like too many like of the same themes, yeah. it can be. I think. Well, I'm always reading like a fun book, so mm -hmm. like usually some sort of just chill, like before bed. If I'm not watching TV or something, I'm reading a book, right. and then I'm usually reading like a devotional type book or like a some sort of like Christian spiritual book, and then I'm usually reading mm -hmm. like a leadership book all at the same time, and they happen throughout different parts of the day. So okay yeah yeah like the christian ones in the morning and then the fun ones at night and then the leadership one is just whenever i've got five or ten minutes to yeah to read so no i think that works i think people you know people say to me like why are you reading so many books at the same time but i'm like if i can handle it like yeah. why not yeah get off my back and, and they yeah and they meet like certain needs in your life yeah so. get off my back who do you think Go you are to tell me Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, here's who we are. We're the Alter Live Show. Um, yes. We need to actually get into a topic. We could sit here and talk books forever and ever and ever, Maeve. Um, today, <laughs> someday we're going to start our book podcast, and it's going to be pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty lit. Abs. Yeah, because book podcasts are so lit. Uh, so today, you can see from the kind of the title card below, we're talking mobile. We're talking the Alter Live mobile app we're kind of going to break things down for you because that's what we do here mm -hmm. on the altar live show we give you tips and tricks but we also want to take your questions uh in my head i've been saying we want to take your cues and turn them into a's so uh, if you do have any questions you can always throw them in the chat if you're live or if you're on demand always 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 put them in the comments below uh, our socials are all over the place you just saw them a moment ago they're down in the comments of this video in the description of this video as well we're always around to field your questions. Where are we going to go with this one, the mobile app? I mean, you know, this actually, this is a topic that came from a conversation I was having with, uh, with one of our subscribers mm -hmm. and it was in the Alter Live Fam Facebook group, which is you go and join, uh, wow. again, stuff in the, in the description mm -hmm. there. And we were chatting and he was just saying like one of the, one of the biggest things that new people get hung up on for a little bit is using the mobile app. And that's mm -hmm. because a lot of us as Alter Live users and leaders and kind of hosts and greeters, we don't ever have to use it. And we sometimes we can't use it. And so we wanted to run through um, really what it looks like from start to finish what the mobile app looks like. And then I think only today we're only talking about events, correct? We're not gonna talk mm -hmm. about, okay, cool. Yeah, cause I think we can't, I think there's a bigger conversation about meeting so we're focused on focusing on events right now which i think is a good start because right. that's where we do a lot of our um of our live life together. absolutely and so i have pulled up in my fun little windows here i've got the ios app and i have the android app and you can see i'm kind of already logged in but i'm going to log out mm -hmm. just so you can see that these are the actual 
apps themselves that are theoretically working. Log out. Thank you very much. So uh, iOS, Android in my little emulators here. We're going to be focusing primarily on the iOS app. There are a few little quirks about the Android app. Uh, you can see this is Android because I can pull the shade down and do all that. Um, there are a few little quirks about the Android app that are going to differ from phone to phone to phone. Uh, so no offense, Android users, but we're just not going to play in this sandbox today. Uh, so give us the thumbs downs in <laughs> the video. No, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, Maeve, walk me through. What am I doing? What am I doing with the app over here? Sure. Right. So first step, always log in. Always. Um, Let me yes, log in. Always log in. Uh, I manage at bayhope.com. I remember my password, but we do have this handy dandy send magic yes, link. I love the magic link. I probably <laughs> use it every single day. <laughs> I uh, I did until I honestly until Wednesday when I or Tuesday when we started playing with the apps, and I said, oh. I should probably know my password because I can't do the magic link live on the air. So here we are. Right. We're in it. Right. Right. So once you log in, you'll see the My Communities page, which is very similar to um, when you log in on on your computer. And so you'll see all of the different communities that you're in. Usually probably that's one. But for us, we're in a lot of different thousands. communities. So yeah. Like thousands. Um, so you choose your selected community and you'll be taken to the events and meeting page just like on the website um, on your computer. Really everything that we're talking about here is like just as it's just the same on the website, but there's just like a little different locations mm. just to make it fit really nicely on the phone and have that really aesthetic, really nice look because you know, if I do say so myself, this app is really pretty. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. So you'll see all the events and meetings. Um, we're going to probably go into the Alter Live show because that is our, um, you know, decided event. And so what's interesting about this one, you know, when you enter into a event online, you'll see kind of that big room with all the different seats to make it fit nicely on the app we have like the little left and right buttons so you can kind of flip between side to side which is actually really nice because if you're joining on your phone and you want to um, meet up with a friend and or sit next to them and they say oh where are you oh i am on the left side easily you can find it because you know on the um, computer you have that big screen where you can kind of see everything that overhead view but with the phone it's different so it's really nice that we have the left side and right side buttons so you can easily find um, a row or some a group you want to sit in or join a fun watch party hmm. all right let me join with you yeah I and, have and while you're doing that i think it is it is key to note that a lot of what happens in here is, and we're going to talk about it in a minute, but when you are training your people on terminology, make sure that you use mobile terminology and desktop or website terminology. They're essentially the same thing. Uh, you'll see that this here says watch party. It doesn't really say that. It says that a little bit in the desktop app, but it's kind of hidden. Uh, so this is technically you're in a watch party. And then the left side, right side thing is just a big, a big deal. Um, like Maeve said, it's, it's, it's one of the things we had to do to get it to fit onto a screen. Um, I think it's pretty brilliant. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think, I, I almost think like we should try this in our desktop as well at some point if we wanted to, uh, just to give it as an option because it really, it's a little scary. I don't know for you, Maeve, but sometimes you log in and if you see 12 or 15 people sitting in a chair, or sitting in rows, it's a little yeah. overwhelming. Like, where do I sit? Yeah. What do I do? Instead, if you, if I could just choose right side and I only saw one, two, three, four rows, that's a little less daunting. Totally, totally. Because, you know, no matter where we are, I mean, we're always just kind of like revert back to our human nature of yep. ne not necessarily like wanting to be noticed. So yeah, that's a really great thing to point out is that while it fits like aesthetically and like for, you know, functional purposes, it also is a great way to maybe to get e to ease people in. So maybe if you know someone who's new, you can encourage them to maybe go on the mobile app this time and then maybe move slowly to the website. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll seem like less of a commitment because we're always on our phones and yeah. I know we're always on our computers but there's something so like 
you know, there's like that safe feeling you get when you have your phone on you as like kind of scary as it is, it's true. And yep. so why don't, you know, we as leaders kind of lean into that and encourage people like, hey, you can join your phone. It's as easy, easy as that. No commitment, you know, take a seat or don't. There's, you know, there's only a couple of people here. You know, meanwhile, maybe on the right side, there's more people or wherever you're sitting. But yeah, take kind of those, encourage those baby steps. That's good. I appreciate that. Uh, what are we doing with the, you want, are you joining on your phone? Oh, yes. Um, I'm joining. I'm going to take a seat. I'm going to take a seat right next to you. Perfect. So you saw, here, let me back out real quick. You saw that Maeve's now in the mobile app, just like in the desktop app. Uh, Maeve's picture pops up here, and I'm just going to simply tap on that, and it'll put me right in row number one with Maeve. And there we go. And I think maybe I can get my camera to work. Oh my gosh, my camera works. It's that it's my fake camera. It's not my real camera, but my camera works right there. Uh, and I'm going to turn my mic off just so there's no weird feedback or anything. Oh, yeah. but then, oh hello. Look at that. Maeve's in there as well. This is fantastic. This is so, this is so weird. There's a cam. There's there. And this is great. Uh, there's four <laughs> of us. This is awesome. Uh, we're taking over the world. But this is where we would be. Um, able to have a watch party together, talk and do exactly like you do in your live event. The cool thing is, is that phones really have the built-in, most of the phones that we use nowadays have built-in selfie cams. And so you don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta mm -hmm. set up the mic and I gotta set up a camera and I gotta do all that right. stuff. It's all just built right into this whole mess right here. I'm gonna turn this off so oh. people don't get distracted. Totally. Um, all right, so moving on. So when so normally when you log in on your computer, you'll see kind of that panel on the side of the screen of where you can access to, like your chat and the announcements and the members and all that. So on the app on the phone, it's towards the top. So you can see where it says right kind of above Andy's window, row one, and then there's the chat symbol and there's like the member symbol. And so that is where you can access all those features. So the chat is pretty straightforward. It kind of acts exactly as on um, the computer. So you'll have your general chat and your my chat. And remember, there's a new feature if that you're a host or a greeter or admin or any of those host privileges, you'll be immediately added to a greeter chat where you can talk to the greeters on your team, kind of check in, have that private chat so you can really communicate with your team. You know, and then if you want to start with a direct message. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm starting that right now. Boom. Perfect. And then, so if you go back, you know, if you want to start a new direct message, see that little plus icon at the bottom, that's where you can send a direct message to other members, um, people on your team, and you can see who's online, who's offline, all these different people. Cool. It's really handy. Um, and then, so next to that is the members, and you can see who, um, next to the conversations, yep, um, you can see who um, is there who's at the event, you can search for a member, see where they're sitting if you want to find your friends. Um, this is very cool to me. Um, and I know this is relatively new, but when you're in the mobile app, mm -hmm. it actually says where the people are. So like if I, here, let me go out, let me leave this row. Um, so I didn't mean to cut you off. It says not seated and then seated at this thing. That is right. very, very cool. I think that's, that's, a, that's a game breaking feature for a lot of people, because again, you don't want to totally. you don't want to rock up to a room and be like, well, I don't know where to sit. I don't know. I, you know, Aunt Tone or uh, Aunt Faye invited me, but I don't know where <laughs> Aunt Faye's sitting. So I'm just going to not sit anywhere. I don't want to scroll right. through all these things. Instead, you just go to the members thing. You search for your person that you want to. Hey, is Aunt Faye? I doubt she's in here. Yeah, Faye's not here. OK, but Andy is. And so I'm going to go see where Andy's sitting. Right, right. It's perfect. It's yeah, it's for you to find your people so you can sit with them and worship with them. Um, because that's what Alter Live is all about. Absolutely. Good. <laughs> that was a good plug, Maeve. That was real good. <laughs> um, okay, continuing. Oh, yes. So since we can't fit all of the different options on that top panel, see that little um, one on the end? That's the more panel. So call, that's I, where I, I, I call that the I call that the burger icon because it looks like a oh, hamburger. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I like that's so much more fun than the more icon. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what we're going to do from now on. Cool. The burger. And so this is where you can um, share the invitation link. So if you're joining the event and you're like, oh my gosh, my mom or my grandma or whoever would love to see this sermon or would love to come to this event, let's, let's get them 
on board. Let's come, you know, join the party. And so you can just send it and it's great because you can text it and you can email it and do whatever you want. And it's so on demand because, you know, when you're on your computer, you have to go to the email and then log in and all that. But with a text, simple, you know, it's always, always quicker with a text. Amen. Um, and then so you have the announcements, which you guys know the drill. Those are when you can. So for the announcement, these are where you see the announcements on the app. Um, we'll talk about this later about what it looks like for hosts on the app. But so for like announcement po- and polls, you can only receive polls. There's no way to create a poll or announcement um, in the app because you often, you know, create these in the event creation process or um you know, during the event and it's just, it just doesn't work as well on the app. So we save those things for when you're on your computer on the website. Um, And then, so underneath polls, leave an event. So there are actually a couple ways to leave the event. Um, You know, you can go to that button or if sometimes you find yourself um, back swiping on your phone, it'll give you a pop-up. I don't think it shows you on the- I can't, I can't, um, I can't do it on the emulator, yeah. Right. But yeah, but you know, when you guys are on your phone and you try to like go back to a different page, it'll take you back to that page on the app. It'll actually give you the option to leave the event. So that's a really great way to leave in a, if you need to, if you don't know, if you can't find the little icon under them or, or if you're in a hurry, just quickly backswipe to leave the option. But also be careful with that because you don't want to accidentally leave the event when you don't want to. But then if you do, really, really easy to join again. Um, and then also one really, yes, exactly. Um, one really, yeah, close call. <laughs> One really important thing at the bottom is that little door icon um, right by Andy's email. Yep. So that actually logs you out of your account. So that doesn't, that makes you kind of leave the entire thing. It doesn't just make you leave the event. It logs you out. I think, I think if you press it, you'll not necessarily leave the event. It'll just log you out and then you'll have to log back in. But you guys know that process. This is kind of the same thing. If you log out while you're watching an event on the website, you'll just won't be able to talk like direct message and all that good stuff. Um, But yeah, anything else? Okay. I think that's it. I think um, Mm -hmm. the the one thing that I do want to talk about next week is what it looks like to get announcements and what it looks like to get polls just in terms of pop-ups and in terms of, you know, if if it's a modal, if it's a panel Mm -hmm. or if it's a notification, because they do look a little bit different. The notifications are pretty simple. They just pop down from the top uh, or I think maybe on Android they might pop here. Um, but where do your modal or where do your panel announcements live and what does it look like modal? So we can we can talk through that next week because that's a that's a little bit more legwork and that actually overlaps mm-hmm. a lot into lobbies and into meetings as well. Great, great, great. Oh, yes. And so one more thing just about hosts. I mentioned this briefly, but so with host privileges, I mean, you still have your host um, privileges on your app, but you can't really... Um, access them Hmm. because you know while the app is really great and functional and like great for on the go I think it's best for hosts and creators to facilitate the events on their computer it's a little bit more hands-on it needs a little bit more focus and you know that's where you can access your host options um, drop down menu and all that good stuff um while you you can't really make announcements or create different things on the app, it's really more for um, facilitating with chat or um, just kind of being with people in watch parties and that kind of stuff. Um, you can still, I mean, this would, I mean, if you're a greeter, this might be okay. Like as a greeter, you could still join on the app because you can access the chat and reach out to people if you need. But typically, if you're a host or facilitating an event, it's best to do it on your computer. Hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Um, I think we hit pretty much everything about the event. Yeah. Obviously, we don't have a live video playing right now, um, and it you can't. I I'm technically a host right now. I can't go live from here. Um, right. So I can't. I can't do the whole go live button, and also I can't move people back and forth from here, uh, which is why Maeve is saying, hey, make sure mm-hmm. that you do you as much as possible. You facilitate your events uh, from a laptop or a desktop or something that's not a mobile browser. I actually don't know what happens when you have an iPad. I think it's the same thing. 
Um, I don't I think, think yeah, I think it's yeah. all, I think it detects mobile. Um, that'll be a, mm -hmm. a question of clarification we can bring up uh, later with our, with our team. But Maeve, anything else we're missing here? I think we're good. I think this is a good start, um, a good introduction into the mobile app. We still have a lot more to talk about next week and a lot of, you know, fun things. It's really cool. Like, I think it's a great option if you're on the go and you quickly want to join an event. You know, Ultra Live Party never stops. <laughs> if there's one thing to know about Ultra Live, it's that we know how, much like Mabe's family, we know how to party. <laughs> until late in the night with Mariah Carey and the Dixie Chicks oh. and Shania, I'm assuming Shania Twain probably sits oh, in there. Oh, yes. Yeah, Love okay. Her. I'm, and I'm sure you probably had a, maybe a little old school Justin Bieber, maybe? Mm, maybe I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, gonna let, I'm like going through the hits right now. Maybe like Katy Perry. Maybe, oh, maybe T-Swift. Definitely T-Swift. Oh, yeah. I think we play 22. Okay. Yeah, Tay Tay was all up in there. That's a that right there is an excuse just to have a New Year's Eve party is to listen to totally. too. Oh, I love her. Cool, Maeve. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. If you guys ever have any questions, as always, huck them in the comments, huck them in the chat. Big thanks also to Ecam Live, one of our new partners. Uh, that's kind of the presentation platform we're using right now. You can go to the referral link in the comments right now to get 20% off a subscription with the cam. Uh, just put in Ultra 20 or just click the link there and we would be more than happy to help you out with eCam, getting into Ultra Live, coming out of Ultra Live. We, would just, we just want to help you. We love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>